What's going on YouTube? This is Marcus back for another video here to talk about Basketball Wives Season 6 Episode 10. So, <clears throat> the episode starts off with Evelyn inviting Kristen and Sunia out for drinks. Um, she basically just wanted to kind of get their opinions on the stuff that had taken place at the barbecue. Um, and it seems like it's been a couple of days have gone by since the barbecue. So, you know, Sunia basically tells Evelyn that, you know, her and Kristen had a chance to talk and, you know, resolve whatever the issue was that they had. And so they go on to talking about Jackie. Um, and this is one of them type of situations where it shows whether or not you're really somebody's friend or not, because, um, you know, Evelyn was just going on and on about how Jackie's fate you know, which is true, you know, every time some mess come up, Jackie is always in the middle of it or her name always comes up, which is true. But my thing is, it also shows that Evelyn is messy because, you know, Sunia had already expressed that her and Jackie were friends and that, you know, Jackie's cool and Jackie's always been kept it 100 with her. So obviously she likes Jackie and has grown to have somewhat of a friendship with her. And so why are you, Evelyn, sitting here talking about talking to this woman about another woman who she said was her friend? One thing that I will commend Sunia about is, you know, she wasn't sitting there laughing and kicking and going along with it. Like, yeah, you're right. Jackie is messy. But but then at the same time, if this woman is really your friend, like you say she is, you should have been like, hey, listen, you know, I don't want to talk about her. Let's talk about something else. But whatever. So. You know, and they also talked about, you know, Jackie going off on Bonnie Jill. My whole thing is this. First of all, Jackie did say what they said she said. But then second of all, you know, Jack, like, like a lot of the other reviewers have said, you know, excuse me, she went after the person that she felt was the weakest. Because she wouldn't have went off on Sunia like that. She wouldn't have went off on Tammy like that. She wouldn't have went off on Evelyn like that. She wouldn't have even went off on Shani like that. Not that Shani is much of a fighter, but you know, Shani is, 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 is you know, she's the boss. Um, but she went after somebody that she thought she could intimidate, somebody that she thought she could. Now, what would have really been funny is if she would have tried to swing on Martin Jill and Martin Jill had a molly walk that hind part. But then, at the same time, Jackie just puts on a big old show and just, you know, you know, puts on this big act because my thing is this if you were really that pissed off at Bonnie Jill and really wanted to get at Bonnie Jill, would nobody have been able to stop you, especially in the scene where she took off and ran up on Bonnie Jill at the end of the last episode? Like, if you really wanted to get to Bonnie Jill, Evelyn standing there wouldn't have been able to stop you. But anyway, <clears throat> so uh, Hazel meets up with Tammy to talk about the barbecue game. and also. Um, if y'all remember back in episode one or two when Evelyn and her daughter did like a photo shoot where apparently the magazine is doing like an event or whatever. So she invites Cynthia and Kristen. So Tammy and Hazel meet up to talk about the barbecue. You know, a Hazel was in her confessional like, girl, Malaysia had some nerve coming off on Auntie Tammy like that and wop, wop, wop. And Jackie's just a whole nother crazy. So this is where... Um, Tammy kind of explains to Hazel why she feels the way she feels about Brandy and why she felt the way she felt when it pertains to Malaysia. Um, and so Hazel pretty much understood where she came from, you know, because she said, it's not that I don't like Brandy. I've never said that I didn't like Brandy. What I said was, you know, I, w I felt some kind of way about the stuff that she did when it pertains to how me and Delphi got into it. And, you know, I'm just not ready to talk to her at this particular point. And so until I'm at a point where I'm, able to actually talk to her without wanting to swing off on her you know don't bring her around me um and you know like i said before malaysia bringing brandy to that dinner was you know being spiteful and she was called you know trying to be shady um so that was pretty much it for that so we have this scene where reggie tammy and lyric were in the house talking and you know they basically talking about how they still try to have a baby now, mind you, Reggie has never had children, and Tammy, it's been about 20 years since she's had a baby. And so, Lyric throws out the suggestion of, you know, well, maybe they should try babysitting somebody else's child so they can kind of, especially for Reggie, never have an experience with a child of his own. Um, he was just like, you know, that's stupid, it's F-U-C-K. And so, Lyric was sitting there like, 
goes into this whole thing of, you know, he always comes off defensive. You know, he makes me feel some type of way. And that's the reason why I've never bothered trying to get to know him, like talking about it. And Reggie goes into saying how Lyric is standoffish. And so, but Lyric was like, well, if you trying to win my mama's heart and trying to, you know, wanting to pursue a relationship with her and you know that me and you are not on good terms or you feel like I'm standoffish, then you as the man should be the one to come to me and say, hey, listen, you know, I don't feel like the relationship between us is where it should be or where I would like to be. Maybe me and you can go out and talk, have lunch, do whatever. But he's never done that. Um, and I feel like because he's the man pursuing the mother, he, he should be the one to initiate that type of conversation. Um, but at the end of it, Tammy was just like, listen, you know, I feel like y'all need to sit down and talk. Um, basically. So, Sunia, well, Jackie calls Sunia and apologizes. Now, my, like I said earlier, it's been a few days since everything that went, you know, the barbecue. So, why you, if, if you really felt some type of way, Jackie, you should have called her right then or called her the next day. Don't wait two, three days later now you want to call and apologize. But Jackie goes into that whole spill again of, you know, we were all drinking and I don't remember saying what they said I said. But, it, you know, if I said it. I do apologize, but my thing is, why couldn't you have said that at the barbecue instead? You was trying to run up, run up on Bonnie Jill. You could have been woman enough at that particular time to say, "Hey, listen, everybody was drinking. I was drinking. I don't remember saying that, but if I said it, I apologize. I didn't mean it the way they they were trying to make it seem." But Sunia was basically like, "Girl, you know, we cool. You've always been a hundred with me." So Sunia goes into telling Jackie about how Evelyn invited her to this event and so now we see now we find out how um okay i'm gonna wait until later and so she basically was going into talking about how evelyn was like girl you know jackie is fake and... oh excuse me jackie is fake and somebody needs to call her out on her mess and what wop, wop, wop and so jackie was just like girl it seems to me like evelyn is back to her old ways but my thing is you know, Jackie is just getting back all of the crap that she's done over the years. Because if y'all remember back in season one and season two, she was very um, malicious. Because if y'all remember back on season one, she was going around. She had everybody mad at Laura, Laura Govan, because she was going around saying that Laura said this about you and Laura said this about you and wop, wop, wop. And so at one point, you know, everybody was looking at Laura sideways because of the stuff that Jackie had said. So at this particular point, you know, Jackie is just getting back all of the stuff that she that she did back in the early seasons of the show and even stuff that she may have done before the show even came out. Um, but yeah, like I said, so Sunia tells Jackie about the event. So now, you know, when Jackie shows up later on in the episode, she pops up at the event. Now we know how she found out. So we get to a scene where Shawnee, her sister, and her mother were, I think they were at Shawnee's house and... They were kind of having a conversation about the dad and basically just talking about how they have to make the best of the time that they have because, you know, it's obvious that the parents are getting older. Um, they were stressing to the mother about going to get a checkup. You know, the mama was just like, girl, I'm fine. I don't need to go to the doctor. And Shawnee said, well, that's the same thing daddy used to think and look where he at now. So the mom, you know, was basically like, girl, well, we can set up an appointment. So... Malaysia, Shawnee, and I'm sorry, Malaysia, Jackie, and Brandy meet up to go fencing. They have this conversation where she basically recounts these conversation that she had with Sanaya. Um, you know, they were basically saying that you know they feel like that J uh, Shawnee, Tammy, and Evelyn are, are the bitter B I T C H club, and you know whatever their anger is and whatever their issues are, they're deflecting the anger on them. And, you know, they were cool with Jackie when she was... And I was confused because Malaysia was like, you know, now that you're cool with us, they're mad at you. But I was like, but Jackie had already made it clear that she was cool with Malaysia from the beginning of the season. So I was just like, girl, that's not a valid point. Um, But whatever. So uh, Tammy, Reggie, and Lyric go to this, uh, like a, an escape room where basically... You're locked in this room and they give you clues and you kind of have to work together with your group members to make it out. Um, 
and this was supposed to be Tammy's way of trying to get them to talk. But I was just like, they didn't have sit down and have no conversation. Didn't sit down and come to no understanding. So I'm like, I mean, it was a it was a cute scene or whatever. But they'll be back arguing before long. Um, so Shawnee, Tammy, Evelyn, and Bonnie Jill are at somebody's house, and you know, Evelyn basically brings up. You know, her photo shoot and she's inviting everybody and Bonnie Jill asks, is Jackie going to be there? And Evelyn says, well, I'm not going to personally invite her. And at that particular point, I was it was kind of like she was saying, well, I'm not going to invite her, but I wouldn't be surprised if she shows up because we're all on the show. So we all know what's going on with each other. And so. But then Tammy goes to the whole thing is, you know, you know how Jackie gets and if you don't invite her. Is going to make Jackie feel like you mad at her. But I was sitting there like, I'm confused. I thought Evelyn was mad at Jackie. And I thought that Evelyn didn't really care to be around Jackie. And she didn't want to have nothing to do with Jackie. So why does it matter if if that's what Jackie feels at the end of the day? But anyway, um, so Evelyn says, well, I'm still, I'm not going to call her an inviter. Um, and so Shiny calls her and was basically like, girl, J uh, Evelyn's having this event. We want you to come. Evelyn and Jackie said, um, you know, I feel like that's this, you know, because of Evelyn's event, she needs to be the one to call me and invite me. I feel like that Jack, that Evelyn gets amnesia sometimes when she has events, she invites everybody else except me. And so Shawnee says, well, Evelyn knows that I'm inviting you and we've been sitting around talking and we think it'll be a good, good idea for all of the women to come together and, you know, we can have a good time. Mind you, Malaysian Brandy wasn't invited. Um, and so Jackie says, okay. But I'm sitting there like, I just, if y'all supposed to be cool with Bonnie Jill and considering how things went down the last time she and Jackie were in the same place, why would you want to subject her to possibly going through that same situation? However, at the same time, Bonnie Jill, you should have just kept your mouth shut because you and Sunil wasn't even cool like talking about it. So why did you feel it was your place and your responsibility to go back and tell what it was that Jackie said about her. Like, that's not your place. That wasn't any of your business. So while I don't agree with Jackie going off on you quite like she did, you definitely, definitely deserve to be put in your place because that wasn't your place to go back and be telling stuff. So the episode basically ends with Evelyn's, um, I guess, art show, reveal party, whatever it was. All of the women were there except for Malaysia and Brandy. Jackie comes in last. But I was confused because other than Sunia and Kristen, everybody else knew that Jackie was coming. But they were all like so surprised when she walked in. So of course it was awkward because nobody really wanted her to be there anyway. Sunia, Sunia actually looked cute with what she had on. So one of the things that I that, that I the issues that I had with this scene in this one something that I always say when I review shows, reality shows, is that when these women have issues with each other they always want to address the issue when they're around the other women versus just doing it one-on-one -on -one. so this is where jackie because i think jackie spoke to bonnie jill first and was like hey i know we haven't talked since the barbecue we're gonna talk tonight so evelyn i mean jackie addresses evelyn basically saying that you know um Pretty much telling her I have some issues with you, you know, because there are some things that I heard that you said about me or whatever. So, um, about the fact that I need to be called out on my stuff. And so, um, Jackie was basically trying to tell her, like, you know, the Bonnie Jill situation is something that's different. I want to address my issue with you. And Evelyn was like, well, my issue with you includes Bonnie Jill because I want to know why you attacked her the way you did. And so Jackie goes into this whole thing of, well, you know, me and her had, had a double date with Doug and Kareem and we were developing a friendship. But then my thing is, if you was developing a friendship, then why then why did you go off on her the way you did trying to fight her? She goes into this whole thing of I didn't try to fight her. I didn't try to attack her. And I'm sitting there like, girl, you ran up on the girl a, a, a couple of times trying to fight her, but you didn't try to attack her. And so, you know. Some words were exchanged and Jackie goes into talking about how real she is or whatever. And Evelyn was like, girl, by you one of the fakest people around here. 
So they go into this whole thing where Evelyn kept telling Jackie, like, girl, you need a moment. I don't. And I'm sitting there like, obviously, you the one need a moment because you felt that this was the right time to be addressing some issue that you had with somebody else. And I, I feel like she do. Any Anytime you have an issue with somebody and, and you wait until you get around a group of people to address that to address your issue with that person you're the you're the one that needs a moment because you feel like you need to say what you have to say when you have an audience versus just meeting the person and that's and then even the way when she walked out the way she walked out twisting and all this other stuff and so you know eventually evelyn was just like girl i ain't got time for you security took her out came and got jackie and she was calling her call her a nine mf in factor or whatever and I was just like first of all that it has more weight when Evelyn says it and second of all that's actually gotten played out like that was like what six seven years ago when Evelyn first used that term like girl and so you know Evelyn was just like girl no you the nine factor and so Evelyn tells her girl get on up out of here and go take care of your grandkids and she said it about two or three times, but I honestly don't think Jackie heard it when she said it because if she did, she would have ran back up in there and, and, and tried to swing on Jackie. But even because even though Jackie is a is a, a crappy mama, she sure ain't gonna let, ain't gonna stand there and let somebody call her a crappy mama. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of like Evelyn, you supposed to be so big and bold to where you want to call Jackie out on her mess. Why did you wait till after she had was out was way had done got on the elevator? Then you start talking about girl, go take care of your grandkids. That's something you should have said while she was still up in there. But I can't wait till next week because they gonna look like they gonna get into it, especially when Jackie go to talking about Evelyn's daughter. Um, but yeah, y'all, the episode was okay. Um, I mean, it really didn't, in my opinion, didn't really get get good like talking about it. Excuse me until the end but anyway thank y'all for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will talk to y'all later i got to hear up and get up off here so i can finish watching has and the have nots